The Air Force is considered to be the most important component of any modern military power. No country can even imagine winning a war in the 21st century against any major power without having a strong air force equipped with state-of-the-art 4.5 or 5th generation fighter aircrafts. For decades major powers like Russia, China, and the United States were striving to develop their 5th generation fighter aircrafts. The United States was the first country in the world to field a 5th generation aircraft the F-22 Raptor in considerable numbers, followed by China and Russia. Currently there are four different fifth-generation fighter aircrafts operating in the air forces of their respective countries and allies. These are the F-22 Raptor, the F-35 Lightning II, the Su-57 Felon, and J-20 the Mighty Dragon. There are several key characteristics a fighter aircrafts have to possess in order to be classified as a fifth-generation aircraft. These characteristics include network data fusion capabilities, advanced avionics systems, low probability intercept radar, but most importantly among these are the stealth feature and the super cruise capability. The super cruise capability allows the aircrafts to sustain supersonic speeds for a longer period of time without using its afterburners. For a fifth generation fighter aircrafts like F-22 Raptor or Chengdu J-20, the ability to super cruise means being able to close in on enemy aircrafts with supersonic speed while still saving enough fuel for the fight once they are in fighting distance. On the other hand, a typical fourth generation fighter aircraft will burn most of its fuel within a matter of minutes as its afterburners are ignited while attaining the top speed to get into a favorable position for a fight. Igniting afterburners also increasing the heat signature of an aircraft and thus making it easier for long-range radars and airborne early warning aircrafts to detect it from longer distances. While a fifth-generation fighter aircraft with super cruise capability can maintain its element of surprise due to minimal heat emissions and its stealth characteristics, and thus making it very harder for radars to detect it until it comes dangerously close. So far, the F-22 Raptor is the only fifth-generation fighter aircraft that possess super cruise capability. Capability-wise the Chinese fifth-generation J-20 is considered to be a near-pair competitor of the F-22 Raptor in many aspects. However, the J-20 Performance II had been limited in this domain as it had been using WS-10C as a stopgap engine. The Chinese engineers had been working on the development of a high-thrust engine that can allow the Chinese warplanes to go super cruise for long ranges. But the development of the WS-15 engine has fallen behind schedule, which prompted China to use the WS-10 engine on the J-20 aircrafts instead. However, in mid-2021 after several delays, the long-awaited development of the WS-15 engine has finally been completed. The WS-15 engine was previously tested on a number of larger non-combat aircrafts, and are now undergoing final flight tests on the J-20 airframes. As is typical for initial tests, the J-20 fighter aircraft is equipped with one WS-15 engine and one older WS-10C engine, as the reliability of the new engine remains uncertain, so flying it with an older one provides engine redundancy, and allows the fighter jet to land safely if needed. The Chengdu J-20 previously used the Russian AL-31 engines developed for the Su-34 strike fighter as a stopgap until the WS-10C engine design were further refined, although the Russian design is still marginally more powerful than the WS-10C. The integration of the WS-15 engine is expected to belatedly allow the J-20 to super cruise, means it can fly supersonically for sustained period of time without using its afterburners which is a key requirement for fifth-generation fighter programs. The WS-15 engine will also provide far greater power with better fuel efficiency to Chengdu J-20, and thus improving its endurance and superior flight performance greatly. The WS-15 is believed to be more powerful than any Russian and Chinese engine currently have, and is considered to be the closest rival of the F-135 engine which is currently powering the American F-35 single-engine stealth fighter. The mass production of WS-15 engine will start by the end of 2022, with new variants of the J-20 integrating thrust vectoring engines for greater low-speed maneuverability, 
The WS-15's increased thrust will further improve this and also facilitate greater high-speed maneuverability, as well as potentially powering new more formidable sensors. The J-20s are one of the three fifth-generation fighter aircrafts operational with their respective air forces in a squadron-level strength. That is why the Chinese combat aviation is considered to be the only fully peer competitor to the United States Air Force in terms of avionics, missiles, and to some extent even in stealth technologies. And now bridging the gap in engine technologies will be a major step forward towards complete parity and eventually possibly primacy in the field. China will start upgrading the engines of its most advanced stealth fighter jet by the end of this year to bring its performance closer to the American F-22 Raptor. A source familiar with the engine development program said all WS-10C engines fitted to J-20s will be given thrust vectoring capabilities this year. By attaining the two-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzle capability, the maneuverability and stealth features of the J-20s will be upgraded significantly. Until now this technology was only employed by the F-22 Raptors. This upgrading project aims at meeting the PLA's intensive training demands, as the country plans to deploy about 200 J-20s by the end of 2022. State media has previously reported that the PLA has deployed the J-20 to Air Force units responsible for the Taiwan Strait and East China Sea, which would involve at least four brigades or 150 fighters. The Chinese state broadcaster recently aired a footage showing J-20 brigades conducting nighttime combat drills and other clips that showed the planes had been fitted with the upgraded WS-10C engines. Macau-based military observer Antony Wong Tong said, It's the first time the PLA showed simulated dogfight drills between different J-20 brigades, which is supposed to be regular training for PLA fighter jet pilots but the thrust of the J-20 will still lag behind the US F-22, until China delivers the WS-15 engines for the aircraft. The Chengdu J-20s will start receiving and flying with the WS-15 engines by mid-2023. We may see a showdown between the Chinese J-20 and the US Air Force F-22 Raptor in the near future either in Taiwan Strait, in the South China Sea, or in the first island chain. That's all on the topic for now, be sure to subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos and updates.